This is an update for my video, How to Play Music Through Discord. I'm going to be using a couple of alternative methods that work exactly the same way. The result will be the same, but there's going to be a few changes. And with this one, the most important change is that it's going to be completely free. In the original one, I used VAC, Virtual Audio Cable, and you can get one for $25, but the trial version adds a voice reminder every several seconds. So it's kind of annoying. The alternative is VB Cable, Virtual Audio Device. This one also costs money, but you can get a free version. The catch is that you can only use one cable. And one cable is all we need, so this works perfectly fine. Hit download. And you get this, the VB Cable Driver Pack. Just right click, extract all, and you'll get this. And in here we go to VB Cable Setup. If we double click it, and hit run. Uh, mine's already installed, it will say install driver. If you hit install driver, it's not going to work also. You have to right click, run as administrator. Then hit install, it'll install it. It's going to ask you to restart the computer. When you restart the computer, you'll have a new virtual audio cable. Go to playback, and over here you're going to have this, the cable input. And it is going to automatically default to this, so when you start playing music or whatever, anything on your computer, you're not going to hear it you do have to put the default back to your speakers. So it's gonna look like this. So go up to your speakers, right click and hit set default device. And then everything will be back to normal. But you're also gonna have this new cable input. And the next thing that we're gonna be going through is how to open two instances of Discord. You have to have one that you can speak through and you have to have one that's going to play the music. This method was too complicated. And end up getting a lot of questions so there's an easier method the easier method is first download your user instance of discord install it like you normally would then download another one just hit this download button and where it says get the public test build click that and then download ptb so you're going to have discord setup and discord ptb setup so this one will install the normal Discord, this one will install the public test build. And with that, after you have them both installed, just double click on it and let it run. If you go to File Explorer, C, Users, Your Name, App Data, Local, and you'll have Discord and Discord PTB. So you can open this one, regular Discord. And then go to Discord PTB and open that one. And now we have two instances of Discord. So if we go to the original, the one that your name is in, and we invite somebody Then we go to the music, hit the plus, hit join, and paste that in. And now we have, and now we have two people in Discord. So I just muted it so I'm not gonna have that weird echo effect just for changing the settings. So go to user settings on the music one, go to voice and video, and we're gonna turn the output all the way down. That means that it's not gonna be playing any of the audio that I say in here in this one. Take the input and I'm gonna set that to cable, and voice activity, I'm gonna set this all the way down. That way even the slightest sound is going to turn it on. And if you have problems uh, now where the, where the music doesn't play, then you go to Use Legacy Audio Subsystem. I've had to turn this on before. If you're having problems making this work, then just turn that on, and you'll have to restart it. Other things that other people find that make the music sound better is go to Echo Cancellation, Noise Suppression, and Automatic Gain Control, and turn all of these off. If the music sounds poor, just turn those off. So now if I close this out, I can unmute and unmute and I should no longer hear myself.
Next, I'm going to open up what I prefer to use for my music, which is FUBAR 2000. And in order to get it to play through the cable, I have to go to File, Preferences, Playback, and you might have to click this arrow. Go to Output, and then set this to the cable. Then if I hit Play, it's going to start playing through Discord. So this isn't actually playing directly to the speakers, it's sending the music to the server and bringing it back to Discord. Now let's say I want to use an alternative program, but that program doesn't have the option to output the device. What you can get for that is a program called Audio Router by Audio Router Dev. Chances are you're going to have the 64-bit version of Windows, so click on that. And that will give you audio router.zip. Right click on that, hit extract all, hit extract, and that will give you this audio router. And then you're going to have this. So let's say, for example, that you want to listen to music on YouTube. Now, this is normally going to be playing through your speakers, but we want it to get it to route through Discord. Why we do that? Click on here in the audio router, hit route, and send that to the cable. Click on soft routing, and now Discord is playing the music from uh, Google. And this works for Spotify. I haven't found anything that this doesn't work for, so if you find something that it doesn't work for, let me know. Hopefully that's going to answer all your questions, and let me know if it doesn't.